we have learned a few functions and methods to call on dictionaries. Now we want to iterate through them. In this example, we again have the dictionary with the wrong last name. We can see that when iterating over dictionaries, we loop over the keys in the dictionaries and not through the key value pairs. However, in the for loop, we can grab values by addressing the keys, as seen on the slide. Why would we want to use dictionaries? Well, with dictionaries, we can calculate frequency distributions of, for example, characters or tokens found in text. Let's count the number of characters in the document spam.txt. First, we can assign the text from a document to a variable named t. Don't forget the decode method. Also, we want to turn all characters to lowercase characters because we want to calculate the frequency of letter A, whether it is an uppercase letter or a lowercase letter. Otherwise, the program will return the frequency of the uppercase letters and the frequency of the lowercase letters separately. Then, we need to initialize an empty dictionary where the frequency distribution will go. The next step is to iterate through the text character by character. For each character, we want the program to update the dictionary. The dictionary will have characters as keys because keys have to be unique elements. For values, the dictionary will have frequencies of characters, that is, an integer type that says how many times a character is found in the text. We know we can update the dictionary by addressing the keys. Addressing the keys is labeled red. For every character with the get method, we increase the value by 1. The get method has our character for a key. The default value of the key, if not found in the dictionary, is zero. Since you know that this whole expression is an integer data type, we can do addition. With each character the program encounters in the loop, some value is increased by one. So what happens in the first iteration? Our dictionary is empty. The first character in the text is, for example, A. With the get method, we update the dictionary for character A. Since it is not found in an empty dictionary, the default value is assigned and that is zero. Now we have to increase the value for letter A by one. 0 plus 1 is 1. And now we have in our dictionary one key value pair with character A as a key and 1 as its value. The first iteration is done and the program can go to the second character in the text. Every time there is a new character in the loop, the default value will be 0 and immediately will be increased by 1. Every time there is a character already used as a key in the dictionary, the number in the value will be increased by 1. When we print our dictionary, we can see that characters are keys and frequencies are values. However, we can see that the elements in the dictionary are not ordered. This is not a problem for a computer, but for us humans it is a problem. We want to order these elements and we would want to order them in a descending order from the most frequent character to the least frequent one. 
For this, we can use the sorted function. The sorted function returns a list of tuples. The syntax of this function is shown on the slide. We won't get into the explanations of how this function works. If you are interested, I have put a resource in the additional reading. For now, just remember the expression. You only have to change the name of the dictionary variable you want to sort. The function sorted sorts key value pairs in a descending order. If we call the function sorted on our dictionary, we get a sorted list of key value pairs from the most frequent to the least frequent element. This is definitely easier for humans to process, as we can see in our example that the letter E is the most frequent character in the document. It appears nine times. Let's look at the code.